Does the definition of success change over time? I'm exploring a walled medieval village that dates back to the 11th century. Walking slowly through the narrow, cobbled streets, I'm transported in time to the Middle Age. Intrigued by every element, from the weathered doors, wrought iron metalwork, and the village well, every detail of this ancient village tells a story of the people who have called this village home for hundreds of years. I can't help but wonder who these villagers were and what their daily lives were like. What were their dreams and worries? What did they consider to be a successful life? Life in the 21st century is so vastly different from the 11th. It's hard to even imagine what they might have felt. Growing up, I received a clear message of what success was through media, movies, and society. There wasn't much variation in the definition of what made up a successful life. I learned that my career was going to be the most important decision I would make because what I did would reflect my contribution and standing in society. Successful people had a lot of money, which should be displayed with big homes, expensive cars, and an extensive wardrobe. I learned that successful people always had a lot of friends. Successful families had perfect families who were always fashionable, intelligent, smiled all the time, and never quarreled. The narration that left the biggest imprint on me was that once I had achieved these things, all of my personal struggles would magically disappear, and I would live happily ever after, along with the other successful people. Looking back, it seems silly to subscribe to such an idea around success. Yep, this was how I viewed success for the majority of my life. I needed to unlearn and untangle this old definition of success in order to redefine what success actually meant to me. I'd like to think that the reason I'm alive is not to simply fulfill a rigid checklist that I was taught, but to be 
the loving kindness that I want to see in the world, to connect, to be at service, to love, to be a good steward of the earth, and to learn about myself so that I can evolve into the best version of myself I can be. To know even one life has breathed easier because you have lived. This is to have succeeded. Success is no longer a checklist of things to meet, but rather a continuing practice in my spirituality and the focused energy to try to be a little bit better every day. To become kinder, more giving, more considerate, and more attentive toward others. To make the world I exist in a little bit better place. Each day, I'm pursuing my new definition of success, which is not an end destination, but rather a slow journey of life. I measure my success by the lives I touch, the smiles I see, the love those around me feel, the new things I learn, the experiences I have, and my sense of peace. I feel successful when I can look into the mirror and love the woman looking back. Perhaps, together, We can unlearn old narratives that no longer serve us. Finding our unique paths to joy and peace. Creating a new definition of success that is not universal, but is customized for each of us. I appreciate you watching today. I encourage you to please click subscribe and become part of our mindful community. Have a beautiful day, my friends.